With that, I would like to uh, welcome uh, Stu Wells. He is the Mayor of Osoyoos and the Chair of the Okanagan Basin Water Board. He'll be giving the official welcome of the day. And uh, Osoyoos is a, is a town that has some uh, water issues, doesn't it, Stu? Um, thanks, Anna. Yeah, Osoyoos certainly has, has had a few water issues. Uh, before I touch on that, though, I'd just like to welcome everybody uh, to either day two or, or day one of the conference. Uh, yesterday was uh, very rewarding. Uh, I, I really think that we're on the on the right track here. This uh, rainwater is a resource. Um, I, we probably all knew that it was there and that it was a resource, but when we start zeroing in on it and what we can do, I think we're going to see how valuable it is for everybody. Uh, part of the welcoming, though, I'd just like to recognize a few folks here. We have MLA uh, John Slater here, who's Parliamentary Secretary for Water Asset and Allocation and a whole bunch of other things. Or he, he was at the start of the week. I don't know if he is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there, there's a few, few directors from the, uh, from the, from the board of, uh, from the Water Board and uh, Buffy Bombro here in front. Uh, Graham James, double dipping Graham, he's also a city councillor. Uh, Rick Fairburn is here, Mayor James Baker is here from Lakeside. Thanks a lot for coming out and we're the ones that sit at the table and kick all this stuff around for the, for the Okanagan Basin Water Board. Um, when Mayor Shepard was, was talking about, about all the things that Clona is doing, uh, as as a, the mayor of Asuyas, I'm really glad. But, you know, once again, I find myself at the, at the back of the room, I guess in this case, at the, at the front of the room going, what about the other queue? What about the other queue? And it's amazing how many times we look at quantity. And I'm from the region that wants to talk about quality so when we get into this rainwater as a resource and how we're going to treat that water and how we're going to put it back into the ground rather than put it into our lake system um, because if it comes into the lake system uh, the town of Vesuvius is the, the last Canadians that this water passes through uh, on its way to the Columbia and it's really important that, that we recognize the quality of the water that we're dealing with when we put it into our lakes and rivers and, and into the discharge system. So if we can keep this out of there and keep it clean, it's a real big asset. Um, in Osuyas, there's, there's just been a, a study done recently and when we look at our, you know, Osuyas is the warmest lake in Canada, shallow, has, has lots of uh, uh, weed growth, you know, we have the, old, the milfoil problem and that. So when we look at things like nutrient loading, um, we're doing a major $5 million uh, septic tank where the town of Osuyas has actually gone into a rural area and we're letting those folks hook up to our system because the, the, the value of the quality of the water in Asuyas Lake is that important to us. Before communities used to, was the carrot on the stick. Well, if you, if you don't join, you can't have it. So, so we've gone beyond that and, and we're, we're doing this, this neat project just to, to clar clarify um, and get the nutrient load out of Asuyas Lake. And then the latest study comes along and it shows that it really is coming down the river channel. So we really have to be on, on guard um, uh, about the quality. So yeah, I'm, I'm the other Q guy and uh, I'm really liking what I'm seeing here at the conference. Uh, I think the exhibitors and the supply folks out there that are part of this conference, they've got some neat things here. Uh, I have my uh, director of, of operations, Ron Doucette. Uh, he, he's here also, so we can look at some of the things that we can do. And, and in Asuyas, we've had some great successes uh, in, in doing, doing uh, stormwater management issues. Um, we've got a long way to go. We still have some discharges into the lake. Um, when it's old infrastructure, it's, it's hard to deal with. Uh, Osuyas, uh, the, our, our sewage disposal system is land disposal only. 
Uh, it was designed in the 60s. There's no room for storm water in there. So everything we do is around the sewer system. There's just nothing we can do to, to piggyback it. But as we heard yesterday, that's certainly the wrong approach anyway. So, so uh, again, I'm excited about the conference. Uh, welcome everybody here. Um, enjoy, learn, and take lots home with you. Thanks a lot.